Good morning, my students. Today we will explain the grammar lesson active and passive. What's the difference between the active and the passive? If you look at this one, this example, the active word, the, the active sentence, I begin with the object. In the active voice, the I begin with the object, the subject, and then the verb, and then the object. When I turn the sentence into passive, I have to begin with the object and then the verb and then the subject. So, <clears throat> if I have this example, Peter builds a house. So, I have to begin with the house. So, I'll say a house is built by Peter. Also, I have another example here, which is I write a story. So, I'll begin with a story, and then I'll say a story is written by me. The first step, we said that we have to begin with the object, which is a story. The second step, I have to look at the verb. Right. Okay. What tense is it? It's present simple. Do we have helping verb here? We said before that the helping verb or the helping verbs are am, is, are, was, were, have, had, ha had, uh, has, and so on. So we don't have a helping verb here. So I'll put a helping verb from mine. If the sentence is present simple, so I'll put am or is or or. A story. A story takes what a story takes is. And then I put the past participle of right, which is written. So I'll say a story is written by me. So the simple present tense. I have to say the the act of, when I turn from the active to the passive I have to begin with the object when it comes at the beginning it's going to be the subject and then I put am or is or are and then the verb in the past participle then by and then the object for example if I have this one he eats hamburgers every day so what is the object hamburgers so I'll bring it at the beginning is going to be my subject hamburgers <coughs> then eats is the present simple so I'll put am or is or or so hamburgers takes or so I'll say hamburgers are eaten the post participle of eat is eaten by him every day another example for the present simple Mary eats an ice cream so I'll begin with the ice cream so I'd say an ice cream and then I have eats which is a present simple I'll put am or is or or and then the post participle so I'll say an ice cream is the post participle of eat is eaten and then I'll put by Mary Nick reads a book so a book is read by Nick because read the post participle of read is read it is written the same but pronounced with different pronunciation <coughs> Then we have the present continuous passive. For example, I have an example here. They are filming the drivers in A4999. Uh, so we said that we'll begin with the object, which is the drivers. Then, do I have helping verb here? Yes, I have helping verb. So I have or. The drivers takes also or. So I'll put or. And the ing, I'll drop it in being, and then I'll put the post participle. So whenever I have ing, I have to drop it in being, and then I put the post participle of the, the, the verb film. So the drivers are being filmed in A4999. By them, or we can cross by them. <clears throat> 